Hi right, guys, Joe back with Grill Joe's Barbecue, and today we got another cook for the seasonal tournament. We got some good seasonings today. Actually, we only one of these seasonings I've had before. So, in our first rep matchup, we got the Weber's Dry Rub versus the Jack Daniel's Beef Rub. Both of these, I believe, uh, this one's actually from Walmart, and then I had to buy this one online. It might be at Walmart, though I didn't see it. And on the other side, we have the Kinder's Black Cherry Chipotle. This is probably the most uh, out there seasoning I picked for this tournament, so I'm really excited to see what this one tastes like. And then the Plowboy's Bovine Bold. This is the only one I've had out of these, so a little bit different video today. I had to get up early and start cooking when everyone was sleeping, so I'll be voicing over all the intro stuff. You'll see that here shortly. Let's get into the cook. All right, guys, like I said, I had to get up early. Everyone in the house is still sleeping, so I didn't want to be out front talking while I'm filming and waking people up. You know, it's already loud enough with the smoker going in our enclosed area there. Although, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of noise, but me talking over that sound, it's a little loud when people are trying to sleep inside the house. So, we're back at it today. Uh, if you see over there in the corner, we do have a new smoker over there. That's my brand new Z-Grill 700. It is the Wi-Fi model. I'm super excited to be using this. Way more room than the previous one. Uh, I had a video come out last week with a review on the 450B from Z-Grills. It was a great smoker for my past year of cooks, and it was time to upgrade to something bigger with a few more features. So we got the first one seasoned up with that Weber dry rub and the Jack Daniels rub. Like I said, those can be bought at Walmart and on Amazon. I'll have links for all these down below. They both look like great rubs, great coverage. Going on to the second one, I was real excited to try this Kinder's Black Cherry Chipotle. It may not be the thing for beef rubs, but I'm excited to use it in some more cooks. And we also got the Plowboys Yardbird cover on there. Now going in the 700, you can see tons of room. We cooked it at that 250 degrees for about three hours. When I pulled them out, it was time to wrap. I was all out of my Wagyu beef tallow, but I had some beef tallow in the fridge from a local farmer's market here. Uh, some local people make this stuff and I had some in the fridge, so I just used it up instead. Getting these ribs wrapped up, you know, get them finished off in that smoker. I just kept everything in the smoker today. We're actually working on the house, so our kitchen was torn up as we we're putting a new back door on the house so I didn't want to be using the oven so I kept them all in the smoker I put them back in at that 250 degrees until they were pro tender at 205 ish degrees and they were ready to be sliced up as you can tell there wasn't as much juices in there as when I was using the Wagyu beef tallow this stuff uh, I didn't have as much as the other one so I just did uh, a decent amount on there just to keep them moist but you can really tell when I get sliced into these that they definitely stayed nice and tender. They turned out fantastic. Uh, these are also, you know, Costco beef ribs like I've done for all the others. So just like before, we got these sliced open. I took out the middle section, put it off to the side, beautiful center cut there. I put that off to the side while I cut up some individual off. pieces for Little Gorilla to feed me. And I was just, you know, I had to, I was really trying to get the same cut for each one, make them the same size and have the same proportion of the bark on them. I think the with this testing of rubs, it's really hard to get a really good difference in flavor unless you have a good covering of bark. So I try to get the full top and side. And now we're gonna to get to the taste test with little gorilla again. She's always a great helper. <sighs> Close my eyes. Fork me. I think I like the second one better. The second one? The Jack. This one. Okay, so that's the one you gave me second? Yeah. Okay, so the Weber dry rub, that one was over here. You gave me a second? Okay. That one's the winner of the round one. All right. <clears throat> oh, that Weber one is really good.
Okay. I like the second one again. Bovine Bold. Alright. So we got a Bovine Bold and a Weber Dry Row as the winners of this round. Make sure you're caught up. Lord Saunders posted a video last Sunday. So make sure you watch his and then you can see mine. I have a playlist down below that has all of our seasonings going and which ones uh, where we're at on them. So make sure you watch all those videos. And now Little Gorilla is going to go devour some more beef ribs. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, like and subscribe.